Are you ready? Today I'm going to show the AISD community how easy it is for a student to complete the MAP Growth Assessment on an iPad. Every child can learn and grow. The MAP Growth Assessment measures what a student knows and is ready to learn to help teachers plan and differentiate with each unique learner's needs in mind. You will begin by connecting with your classroom teacher via Zoom. Welcome! Hello students. Today we're taking the MAP Growth Test. It's a chance to show how much you already know. Your teacher can also use it to see what you are ready to learn next. It's okay and expected not to know all the answers. Some questions will be easy and others will be more difficult. Give this test your best effort and remember, please take your time. Please start your MAP Growth Assessment by muting your Zoom microphone and entering into the Google Chrome browser. On an iPad, you can find the Google Chrome browser here in the Google Applications folder. I will then enter the MAP Growth Test link provided by my teacher in the Zoom chat. This website link will bring me to the remote proctoring page while I will then enter my session name and password provided to me by my teacher. If this were a real MAP assessment, I would enter in this specific information here. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to log into a practice test. The practice test username and password are GROW. I'm going to select that I am a kindergarten student taking a reading assessment in English. It's important that your child knows how to click on the audio icon if they would like the instructions read to them. Match the uppercase letters to the lowercase letters. I, G, Q, and E. Once your child has answered the question to the best of their ability, they will click on the blue arrow button on the bottom right of the screen. Click on the word, what? Occasionally, the audio directions will be read automatically without selecting this audio icon. If your child has a question and needs help from their teacher, it is important that they know how to navigate back to the Zoom session by pressing the Apple Home button. This is the only physical button on the iPad. And then selecting the Zoom application. I'm already sharing, but your child will need to know how to share their screen by clicking the Share Screen button at the top. You or your child will then either raise their hand or turn on their Zoom audio to request help from their teacher. Once your child's screen is shared and it's visible to the teacher, they can offer you support. Finally, navigate back to the map assessment by pressing the Apple Home button again, selecting your Google browser, and re-entering the test. It is important that students know it is okay not to know all of the answers as the map growth assessment will ask a range of questions. However, your child should be encouraged to try their best and take their time. I hope this helps, and I hope your child enjoys doing their best on the map growth assessment. Take care.